Hey everyone, today's lesson is to write a repeating decimal as a fraction. If you have your lesson worksheet, take that out. If not, take out a sheet of loose leaf paper, a pencil, probably a calculator, and let's get started. Okay, so here's the problem. We are going to write 0 0.45 repeating as a fraction in simplest form. Now, the steps are listed on the side, and it's going to seem a little bit strange when we start doing it, but I promise you it's going to be very easy. All right, the first thing is we're going to write an equation, and we're going to make our equation x equals whatever that decimal is. So we're going to start out by writing an equation of x equals 0 0.45 repeating. Okay, our next step is we are going to multiply each side of the equation by 10 to some power, right? We're going to multiply it by 10 or by 100 or by 1000 and D is going to be the number of digits that repeat. So if one digit repeats, you're going to multiply it by 10. If two digits repeat, you're going to multiply it by 100. If three digits repeat, you're going to multiply by a thousand, right? You're going to have the same number of zeros as the number of digits that repeat. So we have um, two digits repeating here, which means that I'm going to multiply each side of my equation by a hundred. So I'm going to multiply the left side by a hundred, and I'm going to multiply the right side by a hundred. Now, when I do that, I'm going to get 100x on the left side. And if I were to multiply 0.45 repeating by a hundred, that means I'm going to be moving this decimal point over two places to the right. So it's going to come become 45 point 45 again, right? Because that's repeating. All right, the next step is I am going to subtract the original equation that we wrote in step one. So this equation right here, x equals 0 0.45 repeating, I'm going to subtract it. I'm going to write it right underneath. I'm going to line up my decimals, and I'm going to subtract this equation. If I do 100x minus x, that gives me 99x. And if I do 45.45 repeating minus 0.45 repeating, these two repeating 45s are going to cancel. And that's what I want it to happen, right? I wanted them to cancel out. And I'm just left with 45. From this point, we've got a one-step equation left. So let's divide each side by 99. Now, I'm not really going to divide it, right? I'm going to leave it as a fraction, 45 over 99. But what I am going to do is I'm going to simplify it. So I'm going to ask myself, what can I divide both 45 and 99 by, which would be 9? So if I divide the numerator by 9, 45 divided by 9 is 5. And then if I divide the denominator by 9, 99 divided by 9 is 11. So 0.45 repeating as a fraction in simplest form is going to be 5 over 11. All right, let's do another example. We're going to follow those same steps. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to rewrite this repeating decimal as an equation, right? And I'm going to write x equals, and then I'm going to write the decimal. Now this 5 right here, I'm going to save it until the end, because all that's going to do is give me bigger numbers to deal with, and I don't really want to do that right now. So I'm going to save that 5 till the end. I'll actually circle it so we don't forget about it. So I'm going to start out by writing just my decimal, and it's 0 0.072 repeating. So x equals 0 0.072 repeating. Now that next step is I have to multiply each side by 10 to the D power, right? And that the D power is the number of digits that are repeating. Well, I have three numbers repeating, which means that I would multiply each side by 10 to the third power or a thousand. All right. 1,000 times x is just 1,000x. And then if I multiply this number by 1,000, I'm going to move my decimal point over three times. It's going to put it at the end. So I'm going to end up with 72 point. And if I were to keep going and put some more numbers after this decimal point, 
since this is repeating, it would just be a 0, 7, 2 again, right? Because this is point zero seven two zero seven two zero seven two. All right, the next step is I'm going to subtract out this original equation. So I'm going to write it underneath. I'm going to line up my decimals here. And I'm subtracting this whole thing. That's going to give me 999x equals. This part here, right, is going to cancel out. So I'm just left with 72. And that's exactly what we wanted, right? We want that repeating decimal to go away. I'm going to divide each side by 999. And that's going to leave me with x equals 72 over 999. Now again, I want to simplify this, right? So I say to myself, what would go in evenly to both of these? And again, it's going to be 9. 72 divided by 9 equals 8. And 999 divided by 9 equals 111. So 8 over 111. However, let's not forget about this 5 up here, right? So I have to bring that 5 down. And it's 5 and 8 over 111, right? And we just saved that 5 for the end because there's really no point in doing the whole equation with that 5 in it. That's a whole number. So we can just do the decimal part figure out what the decimal would be as a fraction, and then just put the whole number in front at the end. It just was a little shortcut to make our life a little easier. Okay, this last one. Now, this one is a little bit stranger, right? So I'm going to start out by writing my equation. x equals 0 0.36, and the 6 is repeating. Okay, we're going to multiply each side by 10, right? And remember, the exponent on the 10 is the number of digits that repeat. Well, only one number is repeating, right? This 3 isn't repeating, just the 6. So that means I'm going to multiply each side by 10, right? Don't mistakenly multiply each side by 100. Only one number is repeating. Okay, so this is going to be a 10x on the left side equals. And I'm going to multiply this side by 10. So I'm just moving the decimal point over one time. So this is going to be 3.6, right? And that's a 6 repeating. So if I wanted to add any more digits here, I would just keep adding 6s. Okay, now we're going to subtract out this original equation. Okay. 10x minus x is 9x. And when I subtract this, I'm going to get 3, I'm going to get point. 6 minus 3 is 3, and these two repeating 6s cancel out, right? See how that works? We always want that repeating part to cancel out. I'm going to divide each side by 9. Okay, now, here's a little something. We are not allowed to have a decimal in a fraction. That's crazy talk. So what I want to do here is I want to get rid of this decimal that's in my fraction. In order to do that, I can multiply the top and the bottom each by 10. Right, which means I would move the decimal point one place here and one place here. And that's going to turn this into 33 over 90. Now I can simplify that. These are each divisible by 3. 33 divided by 3 is 11, and 90 divided by 3 is 30. So 0.36 with the 6 repeating as a fraction in simplest form would be 11 over 30. All right, so those are um, a lot of steps, right, to solve this equation. However, I don't think that it is difficult in any way. Um, if you need to watch the video again, I would certainly do that. And just follow the steps as you're doing your problems, right? Just take it step by step and you will be just fine. If you have any questions, please reach out to a classmate or to your teacher. We're always here to help you, and I will see you next time.